Our body makes different sounds as air passes through the larynx. Lay o lay hu. Hi, Marco. What are you doing? It's a way of singing. Your lay o lay. Well, that's good, because we're here to learn about the voice. Yup. Then I'll know how we make such amazing sounds. Your lay o lay hu. At the back of our throats, connected to the top of our trachea. Is our larynx? Larynx. I like that word. The larynx is our voice box. Inside the larynx are vocal cords. So when air passes through the larynx, the vocal cords vibrate, and out comes the sound. Oh! I can feel the sound in my throat. Wait. If we all have a larynx and vocal cords, why don't we all sound the same? People's larynxes and vocal cords are not exactly the same. That's why we all sound different. I guess as we grow older, the larynx gets bigger. And that actually causes your voice box to sound deeper. Did you know that some singers call their voice their instrument? I didn't, but now I know all about the voice box. I need to practice on my instrument. Your lay, your lay, your lay, who? Now let's test. <laughs> Sweating. Sweating is our body's way of cooling down. <sighs> Whew! Phew! That was a fun run, but it's very warm today. And I'm feeling hot, hot, hot. Then you need to cool down, Lily. Find some shade. Okay. Ah, much better. Ooh, I'm sweating. That's a good thing. Really? Sweat cools us down because as the water evaporates from our bodies, it removes heat. Hmm. I'm wondering, how does the sweat come out of the skin? I don't see any holes there. We have millions of sweat glands all over our bodies, and they produce the sweat, which is released through tiny pores in our skin. Feeling cooler now, Lily? A bit. Because you lose liquid when you sweat, you need to make sure you drink plenty of water. Okay. Now let's test your memory. <laughs> bruises. We can get bruises anywhere on our bodies. When I ran at supersonic speed, I cut my knee and got a bruise on my bottom the day after. Oh, ouch! Unlike cuts where they see the blood, bruises happen when you bleed underneath the skin. Oh, so the blood doesn't come out. Bruises are broken veins and capillaries, which are tiny tubes that carry blood. They appear after an injury. So since the skin is not open, I guess you don't need a bandage for a bruise. <laughs> That's right, Marco. But you can use ice to slow down the blood going to that area. That helps the bruise heal faster. It's cool how bruises change color. It is. As bruises heal, the coloring changes from red to black to blue and yellow before the bruises disappear altogether. Our bodies are so clever; they fix themselves within a week or two. Then you can run at supersonic speed again. Meow. Find the matching number. Bruises. 
We can get bruises anywhere on our bodies. At supersonic speed, I cut my knee and got a bruise on my bottom the day after. <laughs> Unlike cuts where the skin is open and you can see the blood, bruises happen when you bleed underneath the skin. Oh, so the blood doesn't come out. Bruises are broken veins and capillaries, which are tiny tubes that carry blood. They appear after an injury. So since the skin is not open, I guess you don't need a bandage for a bruise? <laughs> That's right, Marco. But you can use ice to slow down the blood going to that area. That helps the bruise heal faster. It's cool how bruises change color. It is. As bruises heal, the coloring changes from red to black to blue. And yellow. Before the bruises disappear altogether. Our bodies are so clever, they fix themselves within a week or two. Then you can run at supersonic speed again. Meow. Find the matching number. <laughs> <laughs> Vaccination. Vaccinations help us so we don't get sick. What are those? They're for a flu shot, or vaccination, Lily, to help protect you from catching the flu. A vaccine. Vaccine? A vaccine helps prepare your body to fight against a bacteria or virus. How? When bacteria or viruses get inside our bodies, they can make us feel sick. But our body has an immune system that fights back against the invaders. And that makes us feel well again. After that, our immune system remembers that particular virus and how to protect us. So next time, it's prepared. How does a vaccine help us? Sometimes our immune system needs a little help to fight the bacteria or virus. The vaccine contains a small amount of the disease. You mean my flu vaccine actually has flu virus in it? It does. Not enough to make you sick. Just enough to get your immune system ready to take on the real virus if it ever comes your way. So while I'm training to keep fit, the vaccine is training my immune system. Find the matching numbers.